Hi everyone and welcome back to Morning Cup. I'm so glad you're here today because we're switching things up here in the Morning Cup. One thing that I've started doing a lot lately is cooking, like I've mentioned, but now I'm starting to really meal prep and be a little bit more budget conscious um, because that, who doesn't want that, right? Well, with that being said, I'm trying a couple new recipes that I want to also share with you as well. And the first one we're going to be doing today making chili but instead of using regular meat because I'm a vegetarian or pescatarian but being able to use impossible meat so I have all my ingredients here ready to go and we're gonna get started in just a second but I make sure that I have it all um, measured out to make sure that it's the right ingredients especially with cooking I feel like it's you need that I and mean, sometimes you can explore but since I'm kind of new to the cooking world uh, I wanted to share with you because especially since somebody that did not like cooking before I'm falling in love with it so maybe you will too so let's get started and the ingredients are as followed which is ground turkey I use impossible meat just because I don't eat meat <laughs> I'm a pescatarian like I mentioned and the veggies we're going to be using today are peppers, onions, tomatoes, carrots, zucchini, bok choy, or you could use celery. I just prefer bok choy. Um, I do love celery though. And then um, I used in traditional spaghetti sauce with no sugar added. You could use regular if you would like. And then vegetable stock, I use a low sodium one as well. So in addition to all of that, uh, the seasonings we're going to be using today are garlic minced and you could use powder as well if you would like instead red chili flakes it's really going to be fire <laughs> um at least when i tasted it and then salt and pepper for taste as well and then avocado oil you can use olive oil if you would like instead but those are just some of them so now let's chop some veggies the first up is tomatoes they will disintegrate um, you can make them even smaller if you like, but I'm making them this size because it's easiest. Really important just to dice them up it makes it a little bit easier when you're creating this dish And you just want to slice them up because it's easier, especially when you're just making it. And then we have bok choy. We're going to cut off the ends first. And then just go ahead and dice it up. Next we have the red bell pepper and you, you want to cut off the top first, just get the seeds out. I really don't like the seeds and I usually tend to wash it out just to make sure I don't eat any of them. I'm sure it's totally fine, but I prefer not to. And then I'm just going to dice them up.
And next up is onions. You want to make sure you cut off the ends and then just take off the outside part as well. And then you're going to slice down and then turn it over and you are going to again slice it a little bit smaller and then dice it up. Same concept. So they're all done. I might cry a little. <laughs> I know I did. <laughs> Now time to prep the ground meat, whether using turkey or impossible meat or regular meat. And while you're cutting it up, you wanna make sure before you had prepped it that That's going to be the first thing we're going to put into the Instant Pot. You can just see right here, and I just love using the Instant Pot because it's much easier. For me at least, um, makes it go really quick, and it's just as delicious. And then all the vegetables at once. <laughs> Make it easier. I just want to get some of them off first. So now, make sure to not forget to add the spices in and the seasoning that you have your <coughs> in. You're gonna put all of those in. That is it for that. We're gonna let it sit. Time to let it cook. Perfect time for cleanup. So make sure you clean up so it makes it a lot easier when it is ready and ready to eat it. Because you know, sometimes when you are cooking afterwards and you're tired because you just ate such an amazing meal. So just make sure to clean up. So I did say it takes about an hour or so to really simmer and cook the chili. However, if you have an Instapot like I do, it takes about 20 minutes or so. So all you have to do is if you've never used one before, I just started using it. You just click the little flap. Don't be alarmed. And then, once you've done that, same. So it's gonna just let it simmer. Um, it's gonna blow off all the steam. Once it blows off all the steam, then you'll be able to fully open it. take about a minute or two. Patience is a virtue. You can get your bowls ready and your spoons or forks, depending on what you want to use, your napkins, get the table set while you're waiting for this to continue to blow off steam.
it looks amazing. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to eat it. And I'm just gonna scoop it out. Look how good this looks. It looks delicious. And perfect enough for the winter, even though it's almost spring, but it's cold here in Colorado. And thanks so much for watching today. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below.